For a surprising number of Americans born in the late 90s or early 2000s, a lot of us enjoyed watching the Weather Channel. Even though you could just watch the local morning or evening news on TV to find about the upcoming weather if you really needed to, the Weather Channel had a much more appealing vibe. There would be minutes of various Doppler radar time lapses for the upcoming weather and climate forecasts, all while a bunch of chill and jazzy music would play. There were times where I didn't even care about the weather, I just wanted the cool relaxing music and to see the cool radar maps on loop. Admittedly, in the age where cable TV is an endangered species and most weather you can just now get off of an app on your phone, there's been a period of at least a decade where I just wasn't able to fill that missing void. But then a couple of years ago, I stumbled upon one of the coolest and most impressive interactive maps I've ever seen. Now, it's about time I made an awesome maps episode on it. But first... In a world of prying data brokers and surveying ISPs, online privacy is becoming harder and harder to come by these days. And like most people, I certainly don't want to be tracked by any of these predatory companies. And that's why this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN provides you with the tools you need to truly protect your privacy online. With the click of a single button, 100% of your online data is encrypted and rerouted through one of their secure servers. This means that your ISP can't even see, let alone log your activity. And what they can't log, they can't sell to those pesky data brokers, which if you didn't know is surprisingly legal in the United States. But that's not the only reason why I love ExpressVPN. They also now have servers in all 50 US states as well as 150 countries around the world. That means you can change your online location to pretty much anywhere you want and access region-locked content available in that country on the streaming services that you already pay for. You can get a plan with ExpressVPN for as little as $3.49 a month, which is just $0.12 cents a day. And if you want to find out how you can get an even better deal by adding up to 4 extra months, click the link in the description box below, scan the QR code on the screen, or go to expressvpn.com emperor. Keep your data safe, and thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. So I used to have a job shelving books at a public library, and during the pandemic around 2020, there was a natural drop in people checking out books for a while. As a result, I had a lot of work days with very little to shelve, and I remember sitting around a lot being a little bored. I remembered hearing about Hurricane Zeta in the news, and I wanted to see where it was at. And somehow through Google, I stumbled upon the website earth.nullschool.net and saw this. An interactive globe showing the entire world's wind flow. Sure enough, zooming in towards the Yucatan, you could see a faster swirl of winds that represented Hurricane Zeta. A website showing the winds of the world updated every few hours? I was completely hooked and found myself checking this website every day, trying to see where various hurricanes and cyclones were, or how fast the winds were in the area. The website was made back in 2013 by a man named Cameron Beccario, originally just updating the winds every three hours based on data from your typical sources like the US National Weather Service. Since then, however, the website has expanded to also show ocean currents, temperatures, air pollution from chemicals and particulates, even the aurora lights and your chance of seeing them. Seeing animations of the wind flows are cool, but how about animations of the waves? Like, even if you don't care about the data, this is like a really cool screensaver. Cameron acknowledged that his inspiration for this map came from the website Hint.fm, a collaborative website by Fernanda Viegas and Martin Wattenberg that has various visualizations. On their website, there is a wind map page that shows flowing winds across the lower 48 US states, although only in black and white. Also, you can click to zoom in, but then it's impossible to zoom back out unless you just refresh the page, which is a little bit annoying. Nevertheless, it's clear that Cameron expanded this concept. Clicking a random spot on the map will tell you the specific data based on those coordinates and which set of data you're interested in, such as the specific wind speed. Now wait, surface wind speed is cool and all, but what about at higher altitudes? Well, you can change your height settings and it will adjust its data accordingly. Then similar to the weather apps on your phone, you can see the predicted models for the next few hours of data or the previous few hours. Now, it is true that this isn't technically the same as Doppler radar. You're not looking at rain clouds drifting across the continent and finding out if it's going to rain in your city tomorrow. But the amount of climate and weather data of the Earth being shown here just makes this an absolutely breathtaking tool to look at and use. No matter where you look at on the globe, it just looks beautiful. I really like how often it looks like this when looking down at Antarctica, with all these swirls of wind making a curly pattern around it. 
Then if somehow you still need another reason for why this map is awesome, it also has this feature which is easily my personal favorite. You don't want to see a globe? Just switch between several map projections, both traditional and trippy. It even has an option for a Waterman Butterfly projection, the weirdest and coolest map projection of all time. There's not even a useful reason to include that projection, but it's awesome that they did. Cameron has been able to use this website's expanded purpose to become his own full-time business based out of Tokyo and help contribute to climate education and scientific work by teaming up with groups like CLEAN. Considering everything going on with climate change and its notable consequence of more extreme weather events, I say the more useful tools, the better. Obviously, no tool is perfect, and even the site itself reminds you that it implies no guarantee of accuracy. It usually updates hourly depending on what tool you're looking at, and it's not real-time. And at the end of the day, it's also just compiling the data and presenting it differently, not directly producing the data themselves. But a change in the presentation of information can make all the difference in someone either learning more about it or growing an interest in it. I know that I'm going to be addicted to this website for a long time to come. Just like back in the Weather Channel days, you can just put on a playlist of Weather Channel vaporwave style music and then relax as you watch the winds and the waves. This has been another episode of Awesome Maps, and I'll see you guys next time. If you like videos like this and you want to see more, you can support this channel by signing up for channel memberships or becoming a member of my Patreon. The support means a lot and helps keep the channel going. So thank you for watching.